Hello everyone, this is Nancy from teachingwithnancy.com and today I'd like to show you how to secure a PDF file using Adobe. For my example today, in, in this tutorial I'm going to use a product that I created on Fractured Fairy Tales that I have not secured yet. And you can tell that I haven't secured it once you click on Tools. Now, if you do not have the Pro version, you will not have access to all these tools, but anybody who has the Pro version of Adobe will be able to edit any product that has not been secured with a password. So right here where it says edit text and images, when I click on this, see what happens? You can tell that um, there's boxes and you can tell that I can remove things, I can move things, I can type over things. So it's really important that you secure your intellectual property so that it is not edited, changed, or stolen. I have purposely moved my pane over to the right so that I can show you the drop down menu. Go to File, Properties, and this is where you're going to change your security. It's the default is no security. Click on that drop down menu and click on password security. Here where it says restrict editing and printing, you need to click on that. And it's important that you change your printing allowed setting. Otherwise, if you're sharing this document and someone's trying to print it, they won't unless you do this. And I choose high resolution because I want it to print to the best quality possible. Leave this one blank, otherwise they'll be able to edit it. And this one right here it says enable text access, access for screen reader devices. I just leave that one alone. And then put in a password, make sure it's a password that you can easily remember. And then it will prompt you um, to type it in again. And then you click OK. Your document is still not secure. It will not be secure until you save it. Save your file. Save as. And I like to add the letters SF at the end. That way I know that it's a secure file. So if I go back later, I know all the ones that have an SF at the very end have been secured. Then just click on Save. And now my file is secure. So if I go to the tools and try to edit, I'm going to get this message that says, this is a secure document. Editing is not permitted. So I am no longer able to edit this. Now if you want to continue to work on it, you can go into File and Properties and put in your password and take off the security settings so that you can edit it if you need to. I hope that this tutorial was helpful to you. I strongly encourage you to secure any kind of file that you put out, that you create, whether it be something you post on the internet or if you sell something in your store or on your website. 